guys hello 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 welcome back to my channel my name is katie um it's been a while it has been a while and i am so sorry but i have a very very exciting news <sighs> i got a tripod i know literally the most exciting thing in the whole world you're on it now look at this angle all oh, like bird's eye view hello from up there I have something so, so exciting today. I have another haul. And now, I know what you're thinking, can she do anything but spend money? And the answer is absolutely not. It's the only thing that I know how to do. And it sucks. It's expensive. And it hurts. But damn, it also feels so good at the same time. I have got a Black Friday haul for you. So, I bought a couple of different places all online. Because um, in Australia, it's not like a huge thing like Friday but um, like everywhere online had Black Friday sales and I just went for it so the stuff that I got I ordered some sunglasses which I'm going to show you I ordered a bit of makeup which is exciting I got some tanning stuff I stocked up on that shit because it was 50% off um, and I also got this very exciting package look at this cool bag which I literally just got today so it completed my little collection and I am here so I'm just going to jump straight into it if you want to see um, why I'm poor then keep watching okie dokie so first I'm going to start with key so I got two pairs of sunglasses off key they were doing a buy one get one free which I literally thought was like the coolest thing so the first ones I got were these ones here so these are key with misguided so they're these ones here so these, I'm not sure if that's the name. Okay, yes, these are called the All Right. So it says it on the inside here. All right. And these look like this. So, um, yeah, look, they, they're quite bougie. But I mean, I think I can kind of rock them. The only thing that annoys me is when I put them on my head, which is where most of my sunglasses spend their lives. They are quite loose. So they don't like sit very well on my head because they're not very tight. But yeah. And then the next, oh my God, which I'm so excited about. So these weren't the original ones I ordered. I ordered a pair called the Farah. So they look like the little Ray-Ban glasses. But they emailed me and they said that they were out of stock even though I ordered it. So I was like, mm. So I had to choose another pair, but I got these and I am so glad I did. Okay, guys, are you ready? Oh my goodness. I like those Ray-Ban ones, but the thing is because my head is so big, I think those ones that I originally ordered would probably be too small. So, I mean, these ones are pretty big, but if I compare it to, so if I compare it to a pair that I bought off Boohoo, probably a couple of months ago. This is why I can't wear those very small ones. Look how fat my head looks. It's huge. But then these, oh, damn, look, I look fresh. I'm not gonna lie. And I love them. So these are called the Jezebels. Jezebel and these are in the gold and the smoke so, and I love them and they also threw in one of the Jaclyn Hill sunglass holders which you can wear sort of so your sunglasses don't get lost you can attach it or you can wear it as a necklace so that's what I got from key and I love them so next place I ordered from was called Lux Look so Lux Look or Lux Look Cosmetics is a Perth business um, and they were where I first got my Morphe palettes from. They used to sell Morphe when you could buy Morphe in Australia. First thing I got, so they're, called, they're the Model Rock Lashes. These are my absolute favourite and every time I buy them, I buy them in bulk. So I got five packets. So the Model Rock Lashes and these are the Russian Doll Lights. L-I-T-E-S and they're double layered lashes. So they're like this. I only ever wear these lashes. Like if you see me for regular lashes, it's these ones. 
they are my favorite they are super fluffy got a lot of volume but don't look very draggy if you get what i mean like not like all the way up here like they don't touch my eyebrows <laughs> which is good um and i love 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 these like these are great i can wear them like five or six times in a row before i have to start pulling the glue off or cleaning them and they last me so 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 long now i found out the other day that you're not supposed to keep beauty blenders for more than like six months um yeah i think i've had mine for probably like almost two years so i bought myself a new one lux look didn't have don't have um beauty blender on it so i got the model rock because i thought their lashes were good let me try this one the model rock base maker blendable coverage pro the model rock cosmetics base maker blendable coverage <laughs> base maker blend bendable it does say bendable it's base maker bendable coverage pro beauty sponge i've used this once before and guys did you know that if you wash your beauty blender after you use it literally every time after you use it it stays clean <laughs> my boy. so i'm going to wash this one after every time i use it so it's really cute really small um is a lot like um the beauty blender one which is great this cost me 16.95 um, and yeah, it was great. I love this. And while I'm at it, the lashes cost me $9.55 each, which I thought was great. I think they had a little bit of a sale on. So this $16.95, love this, great, can't wait to use it again. I've got a couple of Morphe brushes, so they have a stock left over, obviously. So it's all on sale at the moment because they're trying to get rid of it. So I got two brushes. I got three brushes. I got two of these ones. So these are the Morphe R33 brushes so these are gorgeous and they're just a really dense um a really dense brush at the end i thought these would be great for either packing on shadow onto my lid um or my nose contour my powder nose contour so these are great i use one of them already for eyeshadow which i love and so i'll probably use that one for my nose keep it in there so it stays nice and fresh and that cost me four dollars and 49 cents which is great five bucks for a morphe brush i mean can't complain um and then this one i got the morphe m705 so this is a pointed concealer brush master pro collection this is what the tip looks like so just like a a flat angled brush i thought this would be great um i kind of just use like tiny little brushes to carve out my eyebrows if i'm filling them in i don't do it as much now that i have them um tattooed on um but yeah i haven't used this yet but i'm very excited because i feel like you will be able to get like nice and underneath the eyebrow with that angled pen so that was great and that cost me 4.95 as well for for 49 as well which is great and then i got two pressed pigments from morphe and they were on sale for five dollars 95 for a pressed pigment like this huge pan um so i got two colors i got socially broken and so chic and polished um they're both like the exact same color i don't know what i was thinking i googled swatches and i like compared the pair because they were all on sale i was like i'm gonna get two i want them to be good um and yeah they're both like <laughs> exactly the same but so this one's here so this one is so chic and polished and this one is socially broken now they 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 do look different on camera one's lighter one's darker but to be honest they're both pretty much exactly the same and i haven't used either one of these yet because i haven't done a full glam look but i am so excited this one is so gorgeous and yeah so i'm very excited to use those but that is all i got from lux look um, i love them the ladies are amazing and they were saying that they now do click and collect so if you live in perth you don't have to pay for shipping I and mean, you can go pick it up there in belmont so amazing i'm so excited for that so next we're on to our tanning stuff so coles which is a supermarket here in australia it's like walmart if you're from america or probably tesco's if you're from the uk um, and bondi sands was 50 percent off 
so the shops closed at nine and it was like 8 45 and i said to mum i was like mum they have 50 percent off and she's like let's go so we ran to the shops they were literally closing the doors and i ran in i had to go get it because 50 percent off is crazy so i stopped up so they so i got the bondi sands obviously that's all that i use i usually use the ultra dark um i've been using ultra dark for quite a while now and i just done a fresh one washed it off went out and my cousin took a photo of me in like beautiful um lighting like amazing i was ready to look at this cute photo i was so orange like it was honestly it freaked me out like it was honestly scary i thought okay i look disgusting so i decided to get dark i'm gonna go down a shade and it is absolutely perfect so i got two darks this is just the self tanning foam dark salon quality coconut scent the normal so i got two of those which i love i only have one of these left and i'm so annoying but this is the self tanning foam the one hour express this is amazing so i hate the feeling of being sticky and being wet and just waiting for your tan to dry i hate it i'm used to it but i hate it um so this you put it on and it's like almost instantly dry i do sleep in this i sleep in all my tans even though you can wash it off after an hour, but I feel like the tan that comes out of it is so deep and olive, which is perfect for my skin tone, and it is gorgeous, and I love, love, love this. I know they only have one left, but... And I got a tan eraser as well. I actually got two of these. Um, one of them I dropped, um, and the pump broke. These honestly are a nightmare. Like, every single one I've had, there's been something wrong with the pump, or like they just like are sticky everywhere like it's very weird but it works and I live by it and I love it so I bought two of those which are amazing next is the most exciting I was so shocked to see this bag I've never seen a bag like this like with people on it very cool huh so I haven't opened this yet um, I'm gonna put it straight on we're gonna see how they look. You're gonna know my first um, opinion and what they look like on me. Boohoo, if I'm being 100% honest, isn't my favorite. They had like a 60% off everything and there was only one hour left and I was like. <laughs> so she just bought like, I think it's like $170 worth of things and I saved $170 or whatever. But we'll see how they go. If not, I'll give them away. It's just one of those things, Boohoo, you never know, so. Damn, okay, we're off to a good start. So this is the Plus Tiger foil print t-shirt um, in black. I got it in a 22 and it was $13. So it's just here. So it's a very nice length and like really cool foil on top. So we got the Tiger and then we got some letters on here. It's got a cuffed, um, sleeve which i love the neckline is a little bit high um but i can deal with it but yeah this is so cute i love it it's so comfortable i probably could have got it in one size bigger because it isn't as big as normal boohoo shirts i love it let's see what's next i wanted this in like a khaki color like this but i don't think they had it in my size so i got it in a red this is the plus hem horn button hem top. I got it in a 22 and it's in a red and it was $20. Shit, this is so cute. Okay, so this is it here. So it sits quite high, so it would be a crop top. And it's got like a little um, flowy bit on the bottom here, kind of like a peplum, really big flowy sleeves, which I love. Three buttons down the front. This is so cute, what the heck? I was not expecting this to fit anything like this. It fits amazingly. And oh, I love this with a little high waisted denim skirt. It would be perfect. I love this and the last one, fingers crossed the next is good. Hmm, um, okay, so. <laughs> This is the plus belted button down midi. I got it in a 24 and it is 22.50. I wasn't sure that what the fabric was gonna be like on this. So I got it in a big one because in case it didn't have any stretch. Um, so 
this is it here so nice length just below the knee the thing that's getting me is here can you see like this is where the seam is where this is where my waist is so it needs to be lower it came with a tie i don't know how i feel about this i mean i feel like i could probably rock it the sleeves are amazing the sleeves are great the neckline is nice i probably put a little pin in it just so i didn't have a nip slip you know at work that's not very professional it's not as good as the last two but I do like it. I will be keeping it. So you're going okay. We're going okay. Let's see how we go. I'm pretty devo. So I should have known every single boohoo dress um, is always too short for me. Way too short for me. So I'm 5'11", in case you didn't know. Plus Lemoore t-shirt dress. I got this in 24 so that it would be longer. I mean, it was $16. So... This is it here. So it is definitely too short, as you can see from the back here. If I bent over, you'd see what I have for breakfast, which is not uh, good. Um, it fits nicely, to be honest. I'm probably going to like slice it up here so that I can tie it as a t-shirt because it fits quite nicely at the top. Um, like this metallic-y Lamore Paris 78. I do really like this. It's just the length, if it was the tiniest bit longer, it would be amazing. Sort of if it was just here, it would fit nicely because it is quite tailored at the bottom. Like it hugs your hips, which I quite like. Um, again, not amazing. I don't hate it. I can work with it. We'll see. So we've got one dress left and a bathers. So hopefully the dress is not too short. Let's see. Guys this was so close to being perfect so bloody close pattern amazing dress amazing length uh fit uh not amazing so this is the plus off the shoulder ruffle polka dot dress in a 22 and i got it for 22 dollars 50. so this is the dress here it does have little straps that go here, but you can tighten them, which is awesome. I think I need to tighten them because they just fall completely off my shoulders straight away. And they are really quite, they, I feel like they should be here, but they're like out here, so they just fall straight off. A bit of a ruffle peplum at the bottom. It is very short. It does look a bit like a nighty. Um, I thought this was going to be my Christmas dress. I thought, yes, this is perfect. But it does run out. I need it to sit probably about here so that I feel comfortable. But that means that the waist is here. Whereas I need the waist to be here. And it just is very out of proportion on me. It just, I feel like it doesn't fit properly. But I do think it is so cute. The pattern is amazing. Once again, let me see if I can work on it. I can see if I can put a belt with it or make the straps tighter see if i can make it sit a bit better but once again they missed the mark <sighs> two times lucky let's hope that the last one seventh time lucky let's hope let's hope let's hope this is called the plus cold shoulder stripe print swimsuit i got this in 22 and it was 25 dollars. so i hate my arms hardly ever have them out um just one of my things don't like it so i really wanted to find a sleeved bathing suit not like super tight like a rashy um sleeved but something flowy something nice i didn't want it to be sleeved swimsuit i wanted it to be a swimsuit that it just had sleeves like that was the design like it looked cute so i'm very excited about this one i think so i still got my underwear on so don't mind me but this is it here so it's got the stripes on top so it is um oh wait oh your arm's supposed to be through that okay oh that's better so, oh my god guys look okay so it is a little bit booby it does pull the girls down a little bit but i really really like this it's soft and silky and i love it I really do love it so i'd say six out of ten this time boohoo 
6 out of 10. Well, there it is. Thank you so much for watching. I know you guys love to see what I bloody spent my money on. I literally can't help it. I'm so sorry. But thank you so much for watching. Um, I'm really glad you guys like my channel. Um, please leave suggestions down below what you want to see. Um, yeah, I'm totally open for anything. So this is exciting. I'm excited where this is going. Um, follow me on Instagram, kts.curves. That's me. Don't forget to subscribe and put on the bell, you know, blah, 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 all that crap. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I love you all so much. And I will see you very, very, very soon. Bye.